the company that has remained steadfast and kept the right principles. The company headed toward the world with the right principles. The company that grows with its customers and shares generously. We are Atomy. Atomy, which has been growing ever since its establishment in 2009, achieved 2.2 trillion Korean won in global sales in 2022 and surpassed 15 million global members. Atomy's number one goal of going beyond customer satisfaction to customer success continues to be its top priority to this day. Providing good quality products at reasonable prices, Atomy's competitiveness lies in the nature of distribution. The absolute quality and absolute price product philosophy that Atomy has practiced since its inception is included in all of its products such as health functional foods, beauty, living, food, fashion, home appliances, and more. Atomy Hemohim surpassed 2 trillion Korean won in cumulative sales, ranked number one in domestic health functional food exports. It has gotten international patents in 21 countries and is forging a unique new path for health functional food products. Absolute Skin Care, which has become one of the best-selling cosmetics in the industry with sales of 100 billion Korean won every year since its launch. Absolute Skin Care received King's Hejong Award from the Korean Intellectual Property Office in 2021 for the first time in the cosmetics industry and was selected as world-class product for next generation selected by Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy in 2022. The Fame, another luxury cosmetic product reborn with upgraded ingredients and technology is also loved by consumers as it reflects Atomy's product philosophy. Atomy practices customer-centered management in all its business activities and such efforts were recognized by the acquisition of customer-centered management certification for two consecutive years, which is a unique accomplishment in the industry. Starting with the U.S. branch in 2010, Atomy is a global company which opened 25 branches in Asia, South America, Oceania, Europe, etc., with 15 million members worldwide. It opened branches in Brazil, Mongolia, and Uzbekistan in 2022. And starting with Germany in 2023, it is planning to open 20 branches within the next five years. Atomy's GSGS strategy, which stands for Global Sourcing Global Sales, allows the supply of products that align with the absolute quality and absolute price philosophy through Atomy's global sales network. Atomy's success system, in which the company runs all seminars, allows any member to succeed regardless of individual ability. This is the driving force behind Atomy's distinctive growth. The next generation of online and offline distribution broadcasters, which presents Atomy's vision to members around the world regardless of time and space. Entertainment and media, which converges business and culture. Atomy provides the vision of a global success system, which transcends time and space by providing a variety of services. For our partner companies to pay the utmost attention to quality, Atomy provides various support measures for partnering companies such as cash payment within one week from delivery, interest-free operating fund loans, and joint quality management systems, among others. These create a culture of accompanied growth.
sharing is a mission that all companies must fulfill. Atomy's executives, employees, partnering companies, and members all practice sharing together to improve the lives of all members of society. Wherever sharing is needed around the world, global branches will be united to support happiness for all. The company that holds true to its principles while creating a new distribution culture. The company expanding globally with the trust of people around the world. The company that dreams of customer success while moving beyond customer satisfaction. The company that cherishes the spirit. We are proud Atomy. All right, hello everyone. Welcome to our weekly Global Top English Seminar today. And like always, we are meeting up weekly. Every week may seem repetitive, but there's a reason for it. Because we're understanding the consistency of Atomy, learning more as a group, and understanding the community uh, as a team to be able to progress through Atomy. And of course, uh, things being consistent in Atomy is always important, right? We want things to be the same, so we don't need to relearn, rediscover, explore new things. We're doing the same thing over again and improving step-by-step step in our process towards success. So thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, hopefully you, you'll be able to take much out of today's uh, seminar and be able to use it for yourself as well. So before we begin, we're gonna go ahead and be introduced uh, to you the current Karen language interpreter, which will be our sales master, Ku Wao. And then we'll go into the company motto. Thank you very much, Kua, for doing the translation. So my name is Luke Kim. Let us go into the company model, and we'll begin our, our session. Today. So let us begin. Is everyone ready? Go. Yes. Cherish the spirit. Cherish the spirit. Right. Thank you very much for yes. joining with the company model. For today's schedule, we have our first speaker, which will be doing the three minute speech. And we have sales master Lisa Yoon from Canada. Hello, everyone. My name is Sales Master Jun uh, yes. Kyung Lisa. 네 오늘 제가 어, 들고 온 거는 어, 제품 설명을 하려고 하는 게 아니라 제품에 관한 제 경험치를 이야기를 하려고 합니다. What I have brought for you today is not a product presentation, but to share you the experience that I gained through the products. 먼저 공유 좀 할게요. I'll start off with sharing my screen. 제가 오늘 이야기 하려고 하는 거는 포스 크롭 와시하고 어 풋크림입니다. Foot, uh, the product that I would like to kind of talk about is the foot scrub and push uh, foot cream. 뭐. 이거 보이시나요? Do you see this photo? 이게 제 발이에요. This is an actual photo of my feet. 어, 여기에 보면은 제가 풋 스크럽을 사용한 지 어, 요게 6월 30일에 찍은 건데 어, 그전한 1주 전서부터 제가 사용을 했을 겁니다. 풋 스크럽을. This is a photo from 
June 31st. Um, and I think it's been like a week before I started using the scrub. 네, 처음에 그 제가 사용하기 전에 사진을 좀 찍어놨으면 좋았을 텐데 어, 전혀 제가 이렇게 효과를 보리라고 생각을 못해서 어, 사진을 찍어놓지 않았어요. It would have been wonderful if I kept the previous photos uh, available uh, for you guys, but I did not think of it being so beneficial for me that I did not take into consideration to take the record. 그 전에 out. 제 발은 여기가 다 갈라졌었어요. 갈라져서 피가 났었어요. Um, before it was very crusty and there were uh, slits and it was bleeding a little bit as well. That was how bad it was before. 각질이 너무 너무 많아서 어, 어떻게 할 방법이 없어서 저는 모든 스크럽, 그러니까 시중에 나온 모든 스크럽을 좀 많이 사용해 봤는데 하나도 효과를 보지 못했어요. There were so much buildup, but I tried other types of scrub before and never had a real benefit from them. 그냥 별 생각 없이 아유, 애터미 걸 한번 써 보자. 애터미를 믿지는 않아 아, 그러니까 안 믿는 건 아니었는데 별 생각 없이 그냥 한번 써 보자 그러고 써 봤어요. And without much thought, I was like, might as well try Atomy's product. Of course, it's not that I did not have. Faith in that department, of course, I know I had to me products are good, but in this case, I wasn't really uh, putting much thought into it. So, but it started to get better in the past week, and this is the effect that I have. But in your eyes, you may think it's not that good right now. 네, 그래서 어, 제가 이게 8월 7일에 찍은 거예요. This is a photo from August 7th. Two days ago에 찍은 건데. So it's been a few days. 처음보다 많이 좋아진 게 보이죠. 각질이 그러니까 거의 없다라고 보시면 돼요. So from the previous photo that I showed you, there has been a lot of improvement. Almost not any, no, no buildup of that skin cell. 보이시나요? 요거랑 요거는 6월 30일, 이거는 8월 7일. Before it was uh, June 31st, this is August 7th. 제가 보여드리고 싶은 사진은 요건데 너무 너무 제가 효과를 진짜 모든 스크럽을 다 사용했을 때 효과를 진짜 전혀 못 봤어요. And it's truly amazing because I've tried other products, other scrubs, but I've never felt any benefit from using them. 근데 애터미 제가 애터미 제품이 좋다라고 얘기하는 건 아닌데 정말 내가 써 보니까 너무 너무 좋아. 너무 너무. And from this experience that I have from using the product absolute atomy product is it was amazing. It was very good. 어 제가 다른 제품도 많이 써 봤지만 어 애터미 풀 스크럽은 제가 평생 죽을 때까지 쓸 제품인 것 같아요, 정말. And with my experience with trying other products, but this Atomy products uh, foot scrub, I think this is a product that I will definitely use till the day I die. 아시죠? 얼굴 각질도 한번 벗겨낸다고 안 올라오는 거 아니죠? 발도 똑같아요. 벗겨내고 벗겨내고 계속 우리가 쓸수 있을 때까지는 계속 써야 되는 제품이. 어, the same way with how we take care of our face, we know us take care of our dead skin cells and we can't just let it build up. It's not that once we use it, uh, once we take, uh, clean it off, it won't, it won't come back. It usually builds up over time again. That's the same thing with our feet. We have to uh, take care of the dead skin cells and then we need to take care of it again every so often. 여러분들도 한번 써 보시고 
신세계를 한번 경험해 보셨으면 감사하겠습니다. 네, 저는 여기까지로 하겠습니다. 감사합니다. And I hope you guys also take time to try it out and get to experience the product as well for yourself. And this is my end. Thank you very much. I think we must give a round of applause. It's not uh, easy to share personal experience like this uh, about the progress that you have uh, through using the products. And uh, today, Lisa, Sales Master Lisa has shown us how amazing Atomy product is when we truly use it. Obviously, she went in with a mindset of, oh, I don't know how good it is. I'm just going to try it because I've tried all sorts of other things. But then Atomy definitely does not let us down. You absolutely gives us what we are looking for with Atomy, a product that actually benefits us. And for us as a consumer to be able to be successfully able to gain from using the products. It's not a fake product where we use it, no benefit, and we throw it out, and we just may waste the money. This is a product that we can use and trust for a lifetime. And our sales master has demonstrated that to her experience with the Atomy products. And I hope you take into consideration as well and look into the products that Atomy has and in this moment, try out the fruit scrub if you are in need of it. Or even if you don't need of it, try it out yourself and see how it feels, and maybe you'll have the similar experience as our sales master, Lisa, has. So thank you very much for doing the uh, three-minute speech slash product presentation today. Uh, it was very wonderful to listen. Thank you very much. And now we have our second speaker giving us our eight steps to success. And in this eight steps to success, like Atomy, it's a consistent rule that Atomy has created a system that Atomy has built on that allows us to guide us in success because it has been proven, because why following the steps, we can guarantee our, uh, our success as long as we keep on at it each step one at a time to grow our, our business. And now we have Diamond Master Daniel Kim explaining us in more details so that we can truly learn about how to become successful. Hello, everyone. Hi, yes, it's good to see everyone today. Uh, you know, I just want to welcome you for joining us in our Global Top English Seminar. Uh, and, you know, it's, uh, it's good to see there's so many new faces and even some, you know, continuing members here. And I think that's just, you know, the key, right? Uh, the repetition is key in Atomy or in any sort of business that you do, regardless of what you're doing. Right. If you go out there today in today's market and you try to do a business and then you think that the one strategy is going to work and then halfway through, you're like, okay, maybe I'll try something else and you do something else, then how likely is your business going to succeed? Right. I'd say majority of the time, if you switch those strategies so often, then it's going to be very difficult. Right. But anatomy, we've already had this foundation and this, this pretty solid strategy that's been built already by the company, not by us, not by the people here or by the other Royal Masters or Imperial Masters, by the company. And that's what's going to cause you to bring, build success, right? And so it's very simple. You just do that, follow the system, and then you bring those people in who are your partners into the system and have them also copy that and then you just duplicate that. And then that's the secret to Atomy, right? It's not really a big secret or anything else, but it's truly a simple strategy and that's what makes it so wonderful to do Atomy. And I think it's uh, anyone can do it if they just put their hearts and mind to it. And so today uh, I just wanna briefly introduce myself. My name is once again, Diamond Master Daniel. And so, you know, uh, a little bit about myself, I used to uh, work just like all of you in the corporate setting, but I did decided to decide to do something more, right? Something more deep. Uh, I you know, wanted to explore in the business side see if there's any sort of opportunities. And thankfully I was introduced to Atomy. And so this was kind of the beginning of this journey, right? So it definitely is not easy, definitely not a, you know, get rich quick scheme, but it's very different from your average uh, network marketing, which I've been to a lot of different seminars and attended myself personally. 
uh, to all these seminars. And the majority of the time, it always costs money, right? That's the key thing for these network marketing companies. But in Atomy, uh, there's no true money involved besides what you spend on the products, which I'll get into a bit more detail why we should. Uh, but that's, I think, the true secret to its successful formula as well. And so before we begin, I just want to share a quick video for us to watch. Uh, and I hope that this kind of is a big eye opener for you, right? And whether you're currently in the corporate setting uh, and you're working that nine to five job or whether you have your own business and you know, you're you know, looking outside of that because of the changing times that we are in. For 40 years, the U.S.-led global economy has produced an enormous improvement in human welfare. Since 1981, the proportion of the world's population living in extreme poverty on less than $1.90 per day has fallen from 42% to 10%. But in countries with advanced economies, inequality of income and wealth has surged. And nowhere has it surged more than in the U.S., where reliance on free market forces has been strongest. That magnifies rewards for those at the top and leaves most others behind. The trend helps those with higher levels of education and hurts the less educated. It lifts residents of major cities while leaving those in small towns behind. For growing numbers of Americans, it's just harder to get ahead. Why has this happened and what are the consequences? Here are five causes. The digital revolution creates enormous wealth for those with the skills and preparation to take advantage, but it eliminates what economists call middle skill jobs. Computer software and industrial machines now fill roles from clerical tasks to routine manufacturing that once produced middle class incomes for workers without college degrees. One of those forces is technological progress that has increased the value of uh, abstract problem solving, interpersonal communication, organizational skills, things that highly educated workers tend to be uh, very capable of. Uh, it has simultaneously uh, devalued a lot of uh, you know, cognitively intensive but repetitive uh, tasks in offices and production lines, and so kind of uh, hollowed out the set of job activities available to non-college workers and sort of pushed them arguably downward into personal services, food services, cleaning, security, transportation, repair, where their skills are more interchangeable with other workers and where there's less of a return to uh, experience over the life cycle. And so that has contributed to downward pressure and uh, wage pressure and economic insecurity for the less educated. So it's really kind of created a great world for the highly educated and a, a much less economically secure and inviting world for people who don't have high levels of education. Competition from emerging economies like China's combined with reduced trade barriers have further reduced prospects for workers without advanced skills. That's had devastating consequences in sectors such as textiles and furniture and leather goods. The, the biggest economic story of really of the century and certainly of the last 50 years has been China's rise. China going from a, uh, a poor and backward country in perpetual political and economic crisis uh, to a frontier manufacturer with pretty well-educated, uh, highly available, skilled labor using modern technology. So China marched up the productivity technology frontier between 1980 and the present at a rate almost unseen in history. And uh, because it was so vast, because it had so many people, so many resources, so much land, it could become you know, a manufacturer for now at this point, more than 20% of all world manufacturing value added. And that's not just a function, that's not a function of trade deals. That's primarily a function of internal developments in China, the decision to allow free mobility of labor, to adopt Western technology and foreign direct investment and to start trading with the world. And that had a big effect on the United States, even in the nineties. But when China joined in 2001, that further opened the floodgates and that had a dramatic accelerant effect on the rate at which uh, competition entered the U.S. Uh, market for manufactured goods and the rate of decline of U.S. manufacturing employment as a result of that. Over the course of just uh, seven years, about 20% of all U.S. manufacturing jobs 
uh, uh, disappeared, uh, and then they fell, fell by another cumulative 11 percentage points during the Great Recession. So effectively, one in three manufacturing jobs uh, no longer existed that had existed uh, around 2000. Breakthrough firms such as Apple and Amazon now attract revenue across the world, which produces immense jackpots for the executives who lead them and for the American cities they call home. You create the innovation and you have the global product market, you're going to have much larger earnings than in a previous generation. There is increasingly divergence in economic growth and economic outcomes across places in the U.S. And so there are just, you know, along with these superstar workers and these superstar firms, we now have superstar cities um, in our increasingly winner-take-all economy. Meanwhile, the share of workers represented by labor unions has dropped by half, shrinking their power. The lowest paid workers have seen the buying power of the minimum wage drop as the government has not increased it to keep pace with inflation. Fewer than 70% of men with a high school degree or less are working. The eroded value of the minimum wage in many cases, the decline in unionization, things that have otherwise sort of hurt workers' bargaining power in ways that amplified their weakened bargaining power just coming from these external forces where they were already uh, you know, competing with with technology um, or, or workers from lower wage countries, for example. The shifting power balance has rewarded the wealthiest even more through policies in government and private institutions, from tax changes that increase their income to college admissions procedures that open doors for their children above others. Actresses Felicity Huffman and Lori Laughlin are headed from the red carpet to federal court. Uh, 13 parents and one coach who have ple pleaded guilty. The market incentives inequality creates for hard work and risk taking helps make America's economy dynamic, but it also imposes costs. You need some inequality. The problem is when that dynamism at a point in time gives rise to dynasticism, such that the next generation doesn't get uh, an equal footing, such that kids of affluent parents, even if they're uh, are of mediocre talent, get to go to the best schools uh, and get access to the, you know, the most after school investment, the most training and so on. And, you know, talented kids from less affluent families don't get to go to good schools. They don't get invested in, in the same way. And that's a loss for all of us. That's not just a loss for them. That means our society will be less productive. And it fuels the nonstop turmoil in American politics. Voters have thrown out the party in control of the White House or one chamber of Congress in six of the past seven national elections. 2020 promises to be just as contentious. I think we're seeing that loud and clearly in the, in the sort of politics of the past few years. People are increasingly likely to, to report that they believe the system is rigged against them. This is damaging both for the functioning of our democracy, um, but I actually think also for the functioning of our economy. You know, we're going to see people in increasing numbers sort of dropping out of our mainstream climb to economic success. And so we've got this economic malaise, and now we have this social malaise going along with it. And, and it's leading to political, I mean, large, you know, loud political cries for completely, I think, upending our capitalist system. Uh, yes, yeah, so that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. So pretty much the video was about the gap in uh, the wealth, right, from the rich to the poor. And we all know about this, right? The rich will continue to get richer while the poor will continue to get poorer. And that is just how society is starting to build. And especially now where there's a lot of the companies are looking for specialized workers, right? If you're specialized in computer science or in digital marketing, things like that, because we're going into that fourth industrial revolution where we're changing into a more of a digital era where everything is starting to get digitalized, right? We're starting to use more smartphones. We're starting to use more, you know, TikTok, you know, YouTube, things like that. So the era of time is changing, but what about you? Are you ready for that change, right? Are you prepared to retire during that change without worrying, right? Because as you know, inflation is real, Right? We're constantly dealing with inflation, the rise of food costs, the gas costs, right? The gas costs in Canada right now in Toronto is like $1.67, right? For just a liter. And it's just crazy. And so if I fill in $20, usually it would fill in half the tank, 
but now it only fills like one fourth of my gas tank. It shows how expensive the world is getting, but the amount of money that you make from the where you're working will probably still be the same. Maybe you'll get a raise, one dollar, two dollars, but that's not going to help, you know, provide for your family, for yourself, in this changing times, right? And the the rich people are continuing to benefit from you, benefit from your work towards their company, while you are sitting there working for them over and over again and being mistreated and unsatisfied and and just unhappy in general. And so I thought that was a really great video to kind of start us off today because it kind of shows the reality that we are living in and how important it is that we have a business like Atomy, right? Why Atomy is going to change not only ourselves, but the world, I believe. And so today, uh, you know, as you all know, we are going to cover about the eight steps to success. Right? And so the eight steps to success is truly important for us to build on our business. And these eight steps are pretty much the stepping stones to building the right way into our business. And Atomy has given this to us. And so all we have to do is just follow this, these steps. So uh, uh, earlier, you know, I mentioned why choose Atomy, right? Atomy, uh, there's many different reasons, right? It's affordable, it's great. It has great, uh, I think, survivability in the upcoming era of these changing times. But one of the things I really liked is these, the products, right? And so in this case, uh, there was a study done in 2020 of the top sold shampoos in Korea. And these were the top three shampoos that were being sold. Right? As you can see there, uh, you have the uh, Rio uh, and then Amore Pacific Rio and then the TS Trillium shampoo and then the LG Propolis protein shampoo, right? And so the base ingredient for these detergent-based shampoo, they were all using sodium laureth sulfate, commonly known as uh, SLS. And so as you can see, it can contain potentially toxic impurities causing anything from cancer to allergies and so forth. And so on the EWG scale, which is a scale rating to determine how much it will affect your health, it was ranging from one to 10, right? So being one being the best and 10 being the worst, it's just you know ranging from one to three. So it could affect your health in the long term. And so this is just showing that you could potentially be exposed to these over time and you don't know the, the risks that you're, you're being implied to and implicated to while using these products. And it's kind of scary, right? However, in Atomy, we use the ammonium laurel sulfate known as the ALS, which is rated the lowest on the EWG scale coming to a rating of one. So from comparing these brands of shampoo, which one would you feel more comfortable using now that you know this fact, right? I would say Atomy, obviously, right? It's pretty straightforward because the data shows that. And so obviously safety is a big thing for many of us because you know, we want to feel safe. We wanna live a very healthy and long life, right? So such as hair loss shampoo, is also very big in the Korean market and even in the world market overall, because you know many people experience hair loss. And so there's these two shampoos that are very well known in that industry for hair loss shampoo. And so as you can see, the going rate for that in Korean one was fifty dollars and seventy dollars, right? So you can just you know it kind of do your currency exchange to your given currency. And so they have a Q and A section where people are asking why these shampoos are so expensive. And then they said that the ingredients they use are expensive, so they have to sell the products at that price. And so now let's take a look at the ingredients that they so-called are expensive, right? And so a good tip for looking at ingredients is that usually the tip of the, the ingredients that are starting in the very first is what they use the most in that ingredient. And then the one that is at the very end is the least used ingredient. And so in the very beginning ingredient, for the shampoo, the most used ingredient is just clean water, right? So now just think of that, like the, they're using the most expensive quote unquote ingredients and their most expensive quote unquote ingredients was clean water. Things that you can probably get from just, you know, filtering out your, your current tap water, just clean water. That's what they're using for their main ingredient. And same for this expensive $70 shampoo as well. 
How about let's look at adenine shampoo. Now it's looking at the same thing, right? The very first product, the ingredient that they use, you can see that they're using the, you know, the root extract, right? And their root extract. And these are herbs that have been good effects to increase hair growth. And then, you know, these absolute shampoo, the price of it is $24, give or take in your currency. It could change, but that is the absolute shampoo, right? And so that you're using that. Uh, product and the very first ingredient that they use the most is the herb extract, which shows the quality that they're in putting into their products. They're not just using whatever uh, products ingredients to sell you uh, with these amazing quote unquote ex uh, experiences, but actually putting in great product ingredients to maximize your value for your dollar. And so I think that just shows the kind of love and heart that adding puts into their products and that we can truly trust the products that we use and why we should overall even, uh, even choose Atomy, even if we're not doing it as a business, but just to use the product itself. And so now let's get into the, the meat of the, our today's lecture, which is the eight steps to success. And so the eight steps are now divided here. You can see setting, uh, starting from setting a goal and then you work your way up to commitment and then you create a list. Then you invite from that list and then you explain the business to those people and then you follow up with them and then you consult with them afterwards. And lastly, you just duplicate what you've done from step one to seven over again. And so that's pretty much it for the eight steps. And so let's dive a little bit deeper. The first step, which is to set a goal, right? So you want to write down your goals, your dreams to help you guide you into where you're aiming, right? And so let's just say that you're an archer right? and you have a big target. Then you know where you're aiming at because there's a red dot there that you want to aim your arrow at. But let's say there's no target and you just have to aim at the right place. How do you know where you're going to aim? without a target, right? Then you're just gonna end up missing or you might shoot in the opposite direction, right? And so having a goal in life is very important. Whether you're doing Atomy or whether you're doing any sort of business, goals are what's driving your success to the direction you want, right? The people who, the CEO of Amazon or the owner of CEO of Tesla, they didn't just, start their business without a goal or a dream, they all had a dream and a goal that they aimed for. And that's why they were able to be so successful because they had a plan to get to that goal, right? It's like, okay, I'm going to become the best electric motor car industry. Then what do I have to do? I have to study about you know, electric cars. I have to research about computer science and coding and all these things to get to that place. And those are just processes to get to your goal. And so you want to be very specific with your goals, not just like, I'm going to become a sales master. I'm just going to become a, a diamond master. You want to try to make the goal with a date set, right? So I'm going to become a diamond master in the end of August 30, uh, 2023, right? And that's a very clear goal that you set for yourself. And then you need to start to meditate. You need to start to visualize your goals on a daily basis. Every day you want to think about it before you wake up. Uh, before you sleep and then be, after you wake up, you want to think about it constantly to help you become the sales master or whatever mastership that you aim to become, right? And you take the steps needed to get to that goal, right? The goal is to become an imperial master. Then what are the steps that you need to do? You got to go out there, meet people. You got to uh, expose yourself. You got to use whatever you have, whether that's social media, and then, you know, you build on that. And so that after you set a goal, then you start to go into commitment, right? So the committing yourself to Atomy is a very key point to turning yourself around. Because once you set that goal, then you want to make sure that you want to put in the effort. Then how do you put in that effort? It's through motivating yourself through commitment. You commit yourself to Atomy. You put your best foot forward. And so you make a firm decision. If you decided to do Atomy, do your best. Put your all into Atomy. This is your, your business, right? It's not your sponsor's business. It's not your partner's business. It is up to you if you want to truly succeed that you have to put in the work, right? And then be consistent, right? Without consistency, you will never succeed. You have to put in hours of work every day. Same with what they did for you know, Elon Musk when he created 
before he created Tesla, he put in hours of work, right? Tens of thousands of hours every single day to create the business that he had. And so if he had to do that, what makes you think that you can just do Atomy and only put in one hour of work and think you're going to become a millionaire? I think that's very selfish and foolish, right? If you truly want to become a millionaire in Atomy, then you got to be putting the work in, right? Putting in the hours into building your business. And this is all possible because you have this ultimate weapon called Atomy, which has the absolute quality, absolute price products. And so here you can see even uh, the eight core that is done every day. This is the Sharon Rose Masters Esther's eight core that she uh, shared with me before. And so I just put it on here. You can see that she has some, some daily use products that she has, her uh, books and VODs that she watches, the seminars she has, the delivering the products that she wants to deliver to her uh, you know, partners, right? And then and she, she has the show the plan, uh, the follow-up with who she's going to follow up with and then her consultation and in building trust. And so these are all the things that she's doing on a daily basis every day until she becomes, even after she becomes an Imperial Master, she'll be doing this every day. So I think that this is something that we all need to do, right? If you feel that this is too much for you and too much work and you feel lazy, then maybe it's, you know, you can do it one step at a time, right? Just do the first thing first, just use daily products first and then build on that and then read a book first and then watch a video, right? Some people can't do everything all at once. Some people can do it all at once, but the important step is that you gotta do small things until you build into a bigger thing. And so next up is to create your list, right? So you wanna change your mindset when you're doing this business. You know, don't make your list based on who you think will be interested in anatomy, but just write everyone down that you know, right? your sisters, your brothers, your friends, your family members, your coworkers that you used to work with, your you know, friends that you, you might have not lost contact with, your high school friends, your childhood friends, right? Write them all down because you don't know what they will say until you've contacted them, right? So if you want to achieve something difficult in your life, you have to take the steps and put in the work to make it happen. And so after that, you want to invite them. You want to invite the people uh, because this is a very important step to this business. Without invitation, which is the action that you're going to take, there is going to be no, uh, no one that's going to come and appear in your business. So you want to set a number of people you want to reach every day, right? Whether that's going to be one person, whether that's going to be three people a day, right? The more people you can reach a day, the better it's going to be for your business, right? Because ultimately it's up to you. If you only want to do one person a day, that's fine. But keep in mind that if you do one a day, the likelihood of you succeeding quickly is going to be that much longer, right? You don't want to be doing Atomy for a hundred years, right? <laughs> By then you're, you might be dead. You want to do Atomy as fast as possible within the next five years, within the next 10 years. You want to be an Imperial Master really fast. So that way you don't have to worry anymore, right? If I become an Imperial Master, in the next 10 years, then I'll be around 40, right? Then it's, it's, it's good. I can retire. I don't have to worry. I don't have to worry about my kid's future. And it's going to be very, I think, a relaxing time for me, right? So the faster you do it, the faster you succeed, the quicker you'll get to enjoy the benefits of anatomy, right? And so next is to explain the business, right? Explaining the business is very important because this requires you to do what? Study, right? If you don't know how to explain the business, then you're not ready. You need to study some more, right? Being able to do what I do, the eight steps or you know, company and the marketing that I do or, or sales master Luke does every week, right? This is all key to your success, right? It, it, we do this every week. Do because we want to? No. Well, honestly, we probably have better things to do, but we spend hours of our time every week, every month for your sake, for your success, not for our success. We are already building that, but for your success so that you can share this with your partners, with your friends and family so that they can see the, the vision that Adamy has, right? So you have to be able to explain about the company concepts whatever that is with the, the that's the products or, or about the mastige strategy right and then you have to explain about the products you want to be an expert in the products you don't have to be a scientist you don't have to know the details like what i explained just now but you just have to know the rough ideas you just say oh 
Did you know that the shampoo that you might be using is, could be harmful for you, might be giving you cancer, right? Did you check the ingredients? And then they, most of the people are like, no, I just used it because it's cheap and I got it from the convenience store. And then tell them, oh, but you might need to check because it could be unsafe for you and your family. And did you know that Atomy, the absolute shampoo, uses high quality ingredients that are very safe? And they're like, really? Then they might, you might, that's where you're going to segue your conversation into talking about the products, about the company, about the vision, right? And then you want to be able to com talk about the compensation plan if the timing is right. If the person is interested in the vision and then the business, then you want to talk about how they can potentially make money with Atomy. If they don't have any sort of interest, then don't bring it up, right? Don't start talking about, oh, you can make money in Atomy, you can do all this when they're not ready. Only talk about the products and share about the products because that's the key selling point that's going to drive your Atomy business. In the beginning, you need a lot of customers anyways. Your customers are more important than having a business partner because eventually one of those customers will become a business partner. So the more customers you find, the more business partners you eventually will find in the end. So don't worry about finding business partners right away or only focusing on business partners because finding customers are also important in not only yourself, but for your partner's sake as well. And also the talking about the Atomy vision is also very important because you under, have to understand the vision that Atomy has, whether that's the distribution hubs or the global factor of Atomy, right? If you don't know and understand the vision yourself, you won't be able to share it, right? If you don't understand that, oh, Atomy is not just a middle-sized business or a small business, but a truly global business, you're going to open up so many businesses across the world and you can say that confidently, then you might be ready, right? You got to tell your friends, oh, did you know that I'm going to own a business all the way in Singapore? I'm going to own a business all the way in India, right? If you're able to say that confidently, because you know down the line, you will find someone there, then that's the true vision that you've seen in Atomy. But if you only think small-minded, you know, oh, I'm only going to find someone in my city, in my town, then that's all your business is going to be. Right. The more you think, the more you try to manifest your goals, the bigger and, and the brighter you'll start to come true. And next up, after you explain the business to them, you know, give them about 48 hours, right? Let them kind of think about it, uh, you know, think, dream about it, and then call them back, follow up with them, call them back and say, oh, how have you been? Right. What did you think about what we talked about last time? Can I share a little bit more? about that with you if you're interested and then find out what's been happening with them, right? Maybe they have something going on in, in their life and they're able to open up with you. Or right? oh, maybe recently my parents are a bit sick, their health is declining. That might be a good way for you to talk about Atomy's hemoheme, right? Not because you're trying to sell them it, but because you think that they need it, right? Because you know that you love Atomy's hemoheme. I love Atomy's hemoheme. So anytime that my friends talk about, oh, I've been having like allergies. I immediately tell them, try Atomy's Hemohim. Why? Because it works. It truly does. It, because it boosts your immune system. And by boosting your immune system, it tackles your seasonal allergies. And I personally experienced that. So I was able to confidently share that with my friends, with my you know, uh, close coworkers and stuff like that. And so this is just the beginning on how to do your Atomy business. Just a little bit of kind of idea, right? Don't just think about how I'm going to sell this or what's the key factor, but it, it put in your own heart into the follow-ups, then you'll start to see what the person needs, not what you want to sell them. And so after that, you follow up with them, then now they're starting to get interested in the business. You bring them in for consultation, right? This is the next level for you to build on your business, right? Once they are interested in the business, then you bring them in, you start to consult with them, not by yourself, but also with your sponsors. Your sponsors are there to kind of help build on that because you might not be an expert, right? So it's important for us to build on that as uh, to build together with your sponsors. And so you can see that you wanna be positive, you wanna be caring, you wanna be very, uh, ready to listen, right? If you're not ready to listen and provide advice or support, 
then it could be very difficult for you to build together with your sponsors, right? And so you might see some people who are going to give you these sort of excuses. You might have done it yourself personally, right? Oh, I don't know anyone. They're going to say, oh, I don't know anyone. But that's because they don't have a list of people, right? Write out the list together. Create a consultation log for each person on the list and help contact them together with your partner. Because your partner at least knows 10 people. I can guarantee that, at least 10 people. And then you build that list and then you contact those people and then you start to tackle those people and ask them, oh, can you use those products for us? Uh, it, I'm, I guarantee that it's really great. If you don't like it, then that's fine. But if you do, please refer us to someone else. And that's how you build your consumer list. And while you're consulting, you might find even people that have someone that says, oh, I, no one is going to register with me. They're not interested then let them know that they probably didn't explain about the company and its visions properly, right? The reason why they might not be in uh, interested in registering is that maybe you didn't do enough studying to convince them why they should at least try the products, right? The benefits that they'll have for using the products, not about even the money that they might make, but about the benefits alone from the products. And then you might see some people complaining to you that I'm not making any money right? There's hardly any sales. Then you want to advise them that they might not be a repeat customer themselves, right? How many of us here continuously use Atomy products, right? If you can honestly say that you use, you're using almost every Atomy product that you have in your household, uh, and that means that you are a repeat customer. But if you're not, then obviously you might have a harder time telling your friends, your family member to become a repeat customer. So in order for us to sell a product, they must be able to emphasize the best features. Just like how I was talking about the shampoo earlier, that's because I've used it. That's why I know what to talk about when I'm telling others about our Atomy shampoo. And you might have others that come to you and say that, oh, there's, they're not joining the system. And so the system is the key to success, right? People can succeed even if they have no skills or aren't smart because they have the system, right? Just like we saw that video earlier, the, the times are changing. If you don't have a degree in like computer science or digital marketing or all these high level stuff, then you're going to be left behind. You're going to be working at Tim Hortons or you're going to be working at those you know factory working jobs right but anatomy you don't need to have a degree in computer science you don't need to have a degree in law or, or medicine that's so that you can just succeed in anatomy right it's all about building people and bringing them into the system because anatomy is the true success system formula and other people might say that newcomers don't feel welcome and they will leave right then in Atomy, you must be able to serve them with humility. Maybe you're the one that's not being very humble and very serving to your partners, right? You got to be not afraid of spending a little bit of money for your partners to catch the bigger fish, right? If you think about trying to save money everywhere, then you'll never be able to catch the bigger fish. Oh, I don't want to spend a little bit of money just to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to go out there and drive and pick up my partner because it's a waste of gas. I don't know if they're going to be interested in the seminar, right? But who can know whether that partner is going to be a golden goose or not, right? Maybe that extra effort that you put into that partner will show how sincere you are to that partner. And they'll be really curious why you put in so much effort to bring them to this seminar, to bring them to the Success Academy. So don't think about racing against your partners. Don't think about, you know, oh, I'm gonna spend this much. I don't wanna spend this much to my partners. Try to be as serving as possible if, if you can, right? If you can't financially, that's fine. There's other ways. Give your time, give your effort, right? It doesn't always have to be money. And so that's the key part of consulting. And then the last step, which is to duplicate, this is pretty much the, the key point that ties everything together, right? Steps one to seven 
you have to be able to duplicate them. But in order for you to duplicate them successfully, you have to be able to do the steps one to seven properly. If you can't do steps one to seven properly, you won't be able to duplicate them to your partners, right? But if you're able to do steps one to seven, exactly as how I'm talking about it, then your partners will also be able to duplicate and follow your example because you set a good example. But if you set a bad example and you become a bad leader, then your partners will also be the same. So you can't be saying that, oh, why is my partner not doing this? Why are they not doing that? When you are greedy, when you are selfish, when you don't work hard, right? Don't expect others to do the same and, and, and be better when you're not working hard. So you know, think about it, right? Be less greedy, be more selfless, be more serving. Right? Make yourself into a honest and humble leader for your partners to follow then naturally they'll follow them, right? And so I think that this is just a very key factor and, and things to tie together. And so that's the end of my presentation for today. And so I hope that, you know, kind of gave you a kind of eye opening, right, today to understand that we have to work really quickly because the times are changing, right? We're coming to a, a world where technology is advancing, but if you're not fast enough, you're gonna be left behind you're gonna be maybe kicked out, right? It's really sad. Yesterday I saw a news where a student, he was not able to afford his rent in Toronto. So he was living under a bridge. He was sleeping under a bridge for four days until someone found him and then they took him to a shelter. And that's just the kind of scary reality we are living in. And the cost of living is rising, cost of food is rising. But if you were not prepared, right, then it's going to be very difficult for us because the current job, if, even if I worked at my past job, I would not be able to afford the lifestyle that I have now because they're not going to pay me what I want. They're going to pay me what they think I deserve, right? And, and so it's important for us to be prepared and, and try to fight for change for not only for ourselves, but for our children and our future. And so thank you all for listening and I hope you enjoyed today's lecture. And we can give uh, our Diamond Master and account a round of applause. Thank you very much for sharing us uh, the eight steps to success and then inspiring us to do, thing, do it quickly because the faster we do it, the more we can enjoy it. And of course, uh, and then we have more to look forward to in our successful lives. So let us not give up, definitely not give up and then keep on going. And of course, um, to me makes it possible for us to do that even though uh there's many directions many options out there that we may be able to have the opportunity to do to try and do but in add to me the structure is there all other people do have their um guide to becoming successful but in the uh add to me business instead of just a guide we have uh, leaders we have um a system that allows us to utilize the plan, the structure, the system, the information to work with it. So it's all encompassing instead of just giving you, oh, this is the lesson that I learned. Now do it, do it yourself. And this is not this is not the case. This is okay. This is a lesson that we learned, but here is this, 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 this. Now you can use it. Go. It's very simple. It's very easy. We can actually accomplish it. It's not a, oh, I might be able to do it. This is, oh, even if I fail, I can just do it again and again. And I'll definitely make it because what risk do we have when we're aiming for add to me? There's no loss. Everything is available. The website's available. The product's available. There's no legal actions that we need to take care of to, to approve the products or anything like that. Company takes all care of that. So all we need to do is step by step utilize the system the steps the eight steps to success uh the eight cores all that stuff and we'll be able to accomplish that so once again thank you very much daniel kim and thank you all of you for joining us here today um we'll go ahead with our company model and then end with our photo for today thank you very much So once the company model up, I think hopefully all of you can turn on your mic as well. So we can do this as a whole group. So let us begin. Is everyone ready? 
Yes. Go. Yes. Cherish the spirit. Right. Thank you very much, everyone. On three, heart one, two, three. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.